Hey everybody, this is Arnavos98, and here we have Optimus Prime from Dark of the Moon with his Jetwing. Um, yeah, this is my last uh, new build for a while, and I already reviewed Optimus in my previous video, so I won't focus on him too much. And this is actually my second attempt at the Jetwing. Um, my first one was for my version 1. I made back over on Flickr. I never made a video for it. But that one was based off the concept art design. Um, the one that the leader class toy has, with like the four giant wings and stuff. Um, yeah, I didn't know that there were two different versions of the Jetwing back then, but this is my first try at the movie accurate one. I have a studio file in the description um, in my Google Drive, so um, you could definitely check that out if you want to build this separately. And yeah, I'll just take a look at the Jetwing itself and then I'll attach it to Prime and all that. And here we have the main Jetwing. This is like the outside and this is like the inside. I know the reverse studs are really bad, but the goal of this was to get this as light as possible so it could, Prime could support the weight of it. It's pretty neat. Um, I like this. Um, I like all the details for the engines here. You got the mini thrusters. There should be more under here, but I took that out. And it's pretty articulate. You can uh, move this section around a bit. The thrusters. This little wing goes up and down, and then um, this wing goes can fold all the way down actually, like this, and then lift up. And you have that classic bent shape or whatever. And you can also you can also use that to fold this up for storage. And next we have his cannons. These are pretty fun to make. They're very detailed. And just a lot of there's like a blue spot there. I noticed that on the um, in, in the movie screenshots. But um, and now to attach a jet wing. Well, before that, um, this is a thing I didn't show off in his video, but he does have like flip out heel spurs here. They're designed for the jet wing, but he could stand perfectly fine without them. But it's just an option. And for the cannons, first you want to do is partially transform his arms. Um, these blue bits fold inwards. Just like that, and bringing them over here, um, the one, the ones with like the dots face outwards. But I'm coming under the cannon. This part, make sure the fist is straight. We'll tab right into this stud here, and it goes over his fist, which is pretty cool. And it just tabs right in there. And the second one fits just like that. They, he supports the weight of them very really well because they're pretty hollow. And now for the jet wing itself, just prepare for that. You want to make his, make sure his knees are straight as possible because this thing is pretty heavy. And just make sure they kind of fold in like they do in vehicle mode. And then you want to take its hips and kind of lean them forward. And to attach the jet wing itself, you want to fold these bits down and then fold this up like that. And same for this side. Just like that. And then coming over to Prime here, you can see um, there are these two studs on either side. The version 4 has them too. This is like really unintentional, but it works perfectly because it's like a pretty strong spot to tap things to. So you want to tab these in like this. And then you want to let the backpack tap that okay. Very good. And then you want to just drop the backpack down like this. And then you want to take these panels, fold them up. They'll become as like shoulder supports or something. And just strain out the wings. And getting the stand, you want to bend him a little bit forward because this thing is like really heavy. But here's Prime with the jet wing. You can see he's leaning forward quite a bit. He can still stand without the cannons as a counterbalance, but um, I think this is pretty cool, I guess. Um, as you can see, there it's a pretty thick thing on his back, so it does weigh quite a bit. His knees are the weak points. His hips and ankles could perfectly support the weight. It just the knees can flop about, which is kind of why I understand why Lego doesn't include knees on their giant mechs. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You can um angle the wings down for a more dynamic display and yeah it's a pretty cool accessory I wouldn't keep him in this all day because um, it kind of strains on his joints and if you don't want him standing up like this because you're afraid his joints will flop around him I've included a little stand here a little flight stand it has two positions just this and back it's not supposed to be complicated it's meant to be like really sturdy and how that works you would take prime over here and just kind of it's really simple. Just want to make his arms out of the way, and so you can see better. But um, this section here is gonna tab right into these little anti studs on either side of his body. Just gonna wiggle that back just like this, and then just give it a nice tab, and yeah, he's firmly in place. And here's Prime with his stand. He looks pretty good. You can angle the feet down to look like he's more flying, I guess. And you just spin this around and it, it holds pretty well. You could take this out and kind of just fly him around like this. Because the jet wing holds pretty well in the prime either way. But um, 
Yeah, it's a cool display option. I never made a stand for my Transformers before. And of course you can angle this back for another thing like that. Like he's firing at the driller or something. And you could always add a ton of effects parts to his cannons. Yeah, just like that. And then just angle his feet so he looks more dynamic. But this is a really cool look. I love this stand. This would, this would be a really good display piece. Maybe have like a name plaque that says Optimus Prime. There's another cool pose you can do. And Prime doesn't have to use a stand with his jet wing. You could get some more fun poses without it, like um, like this. And once again, the stand is included in the file with the jet wing. If you want just the stand, just delete the jet wing and vice versa. The only comparison here is with the Sudo Series Dark Moon Leader figure. Of course, on my last the last feature is if, if you don't want to have them on Prime, they work perfectly with my armed weapons platform. Yeah, so once again, a separate video for that. But um, the tab that goes into the hands will just tab right into the ring like all the other weapons. Just like that. And finally, Jetwing itself will sit on the top here. Um, this center stud right here is going to pe uh, peg right into that jumper. Just like this. Pretty snug fit for something that's only a stud, but um, it works like this. And then you can wrap the handles like around, just like the bottom to help it stabilize it. And yeah, there you go. Of course. And that's it for this video. Um, Prime's Jetwing, or Flight Tech as they call it in the movie, was really fun to design. And the stand really ties everything together. He's, it definitely makes him more poseable, and rather than having the jet wing as just like a massive thing on his back that doesn't really do anything. But yeah, once again, um, the studio file is in um, the Google Drive in the description. That includes the stand and his jet wing itself. You could choose whatever you want to build. I think that's it for Prime. I won't be working on him or any any of his accessories anytime soon anymore. Though there is one major one that I haven't made yet, and that is his jet power armor. And I guess it is a project for some time really far into the future, but I want to make a giant jet fire that can combine with Prime and also turn into a jet. And yeah, that'd be quite the challenge. But for now, I think I'm, um, I think I'm done with uh, new builds for a while. I definitely will be working on new things. And I, I've, I've made Autobots for the past, like, year or so now, so I, I think I want to move over to the Decepticons soon, especially from the first three movies. And I'll see you guys then.